वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 9-38 एंड 9-39 दैट इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 9 स्ट्रेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल्स बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ पेपर ट्यूब इज फॉर्म बाय रोलिंग अ पेपर स्ट्रिप इन अ स्पायरल एंड देन ग्लूइंग द एज टुगेदर एज शोन डिटरमाइन द शेयर स्ट्रेस एक्टिंग अलोंग द सीम व्हिच इज एट 30 डिग्री फ्रॉम द वर्टिकल when the tube is subjected to an axial force of 10 newton the paper is 1 mm thick and the tube has an outer diameter of 30 mm and in another problem it is given that solve problem 9-38 for normal stress acting perpendicular to seam so you can see this is the paper tube that is formed by rolling the paper strip in a spiral and then gluing and there is a normal load tensile load of 10 newton is applied and this uh, is the seam clear you can see this seam is acting 30 degree from this vertical clear so you have to find the shear stress along this seam and in this part we have to find the normal stress that is acting perpendicular to this seam so let's start with the solution so first step is that you can see that you have this normal uh load which is tensile load so due to this tensile load we have stress which is equal to this force per unit area so what will be the area of this tube so area of tube is equal to pi by 4 d outer square d not outer square minus d inner square so we have this tube like this clear this is the outer dia clear which is given as 30 mm clear this is the thickness which is given as t is equal to 1 mm so with this d inner this d inner will be equal to d inner will be equal to d not minus 2 times of t clear so 30 minus 2 will be equal to 28 mm this is d inner so we have this we can find area so area will be equal to pi by 4 d not which is 30 mm so in meter it is equal to 0.03 whole square minus d inner is 28 so in meter it is 0.028 whole square so this is the area so when you put you have sigma p is given as 10 newton axial load so 10 divide by pi by 4 into 0.03 square minus 0.028 square so when you solve this you will get this normal stress comes out to be 109.76 kilo pascal and if you treat this like a state of stress on that element so you will be having only this normal stress which is sigma and that sigma is 109.76 kilo pascal now we have been given that this seam is at 30 angle from this vertical axis so let this in x is is y and this is along x axis so we are going to transform it so if you take it 30 degree clock counter clockwise so your new y axis will be like this one here this will be your new y dash and similarly your x axis will x dash will be new axis and that will be 30 degree so what we'll going we are going to find out the shear stress on this along this seam and the normal stress that is perpendicular to this uh, seam along x dash direction okay so for that you can see theta is 30 degree so theta is equal to 30 degree and that is counter clockwise c c w counter clockwise here you can see you have sigma in x direction is 109.76 sigma y is 0 because there is no 
normal stress in y direction and tau of x y is also zero there is no shear stress so what we will do is that we will take this theta is 30 degree counterclockwise in order to find the transform shear stress and we have this formula tau of x dash y dash is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into sine of 2 theta plus tau of x y cos of 2 theta so just put the value minus 109.76 minus 0 divided by 2 into sine of theta is 30 degrees so sine of 2 theta will be equal to 60 degrees so sine of 60 degree plus tau of x y is equal to 0 so 0 into cos of 60 degree will be 0 and that will be transform shear stress again when you calculate it you will get tau of x dash y dash comes out to be uh, minus 47.5 kp a clear so this is the shear stress along this seam so let me show you this will be like in downward direction opposite to x dash y dash and that is tau of x dash y dash which is 47.5 i have removed the negative sign because it is opposite to this y dash now we'll find the normal stress along this x dash which is the which will be the answer of the part 9 dash 39 so we know that uh, the transform stress sigma x dash will be equal to sigma x dash 9 dash 39 sigma x dash is equal to uh, sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into cos of 2 theta plus tau of x y sine of 2 theta so put the value 109.76 is sigma x plus sigma y is 0 divided by 2 plus 109.76 minus 0 divided by 2 into cos of 60 degree plus tau of x y which is 0 into sine of 60 degree that will give you sigma x dash so sigma x dash when you calculate will comes out to be 82.3 kilo pascal so this is the normal stress that will be act perpendicular to this seam so this is positive so this will be equal to your sigma x dash which is 982.3 kilo pascal so shear stress along this seam will be equal to 47.5 and the normal stress that is acting perpendicular to this seam will be 82.3 kilopascal and that was all about this problem 9-38 and 9-39 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those from which are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching